I have a quick and easy meal for you that's going to take less than 20 minutes. And I'm also gonna to talk to you about the four things that I am prioritizing this summer to stay on track. So stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow a whole food plant-based diet. On my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes that anybody can make. They're super easy. Be sure to check out the description box for the full recipe that I'm showing you today. And also, all the resources that I offer are down there below as well. I've got discount codes. There's links to my Facebook group. There's links to my online course. And there's also links to my favorite products. So there's a lot of good info down there. So today I'm gonna to be showing you a really quick meal. It's gonna be using tofu, we're gonna to have rice, and we're going to have some veggies. It's really simple, but oh so tasty. But first I wanna to talk to you about the four things that I am prioritizing this summer. And I really try to prioritize them all the time, but I'm really focusing on them this summer. I think every season is a good time to kind of reevaluate what you're doing and work on some things that you feel that you've been lacking in. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today. So the first thing that I am focusing on is making sure that I eat low calorie density. I wanna make sure that I'm eating foods that are under 650 calories per pound, which are tofu, potatoes, um, rice, what else? Um, fruits, veggies, and I'll put the calorie density chart up here so you can look at it. And then I avoid all the other foods that are below that line that are more than 650 calories. Now I'm not saying that I never eat avocado or I never eat nuts, that would be a lie, but I don't use them as my main thing. They're just occasional. And oh, I wanted to mention too, if you're not interested in this part of the video, just fast forward to the uh, or whichever way it will be, fast forward to the recipe and then you can go from there. All right, the second thing that I am prioritizing is my protein. And I am making sure that I'm eating high quality protein at every meal, as clean as possible. And that's tofu and that's beans. And I might have a protein smoothie using my Earth Chimp protein powder, which by the way, discount code below. I'm always making sure that I have some kind of protein on my plate. It's not just, I can't just do starches and veggies anymore. That was not working for me, as I've explained in many other videos. My goal is to get between 100 and 120 grams of protein a day because I am working out, I'm using weights, and I wanna retain my muscle. So protein is very important for me, and if you're not worried about it, then don't worry about it. But this is what I'm doing, and that's all I'm saying. You can just really save your comments that are gonna tell me that that's too much protein, that I'm ruining my kidneys, blah, blah, blah. Not true. I'm going to be doing 30 grams of protein per meal, and usually my snack is about 30 grams as well. Sometimes it's a little less, so that's why I say between like 100 and 120. Your body can only absorb so much protein at one sitting, so 30 is a good number for me. If you're, you know, a six foot five guy, you know, 275 pounds, you're gonna need more than that if you're working out with weights. The other thing I'm prioritizing is sleep. And this is a tough one because I like to stay up late and work and then I get up early in the morning. So what I've been doing is, and you've heard this before, I try to be off all my screens at least an hour before bed, at least 30 minutes, but I try to do an hour. And then I will go to bed and I might read for a little bit or listen to um, a book on tape or a podcast or something. And then I'll just go to sleep after that. And then I try to get about eight hours and I've been doing really well. And I love my Fitbit because it will tell me my quality of sleep. It tells me how long I was awake, how much time I had in REM sleep, light sleep, deep sleep. And it shows me the quality of sleep that I have. So I really like wearing my Fitbit while I sleep. 
protein, low calorie density, and sleep. And then the fourth thing is exercise. I have been so consistent with my exercise. It's really been helping. It's really been working. I go to the gym three days a week. I do a little bit of cardio, nothing crazy. And then I have my weights that I use, my workout routine. And then I walk every single day. Yes, minimum six days a week, but it has been seven days a week I walk because the weather's been nice. I live at the beach, so it's a beautiful walk. It's very relaxing. It's very therapeutic to get out there by the ocean. So I highly recommend at least getting a walk in every day. And you know, a lot of times when the alarm goes off, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't feel like it. I want to stay in my pajamas, drink coffee, and watch, you know, Good Morning America. But I get up, put my workout clothes, and I go. I just go. You know, you just do it. And I never regret going. When I leave the gym, I'm always like, whew, I feel so good. When you really don't feel like going, that's when you really need to go. Okay, it's just good for your mental health. It's good for your body. Using weights will help retain that muscle. So those are the four things that I have been focusing on and I feel like it's really keeping me on track. Let's start with this recipe. I uh, usually can get it done 20 minutes or less, but we'll see. I'm filming so it makes it a little bit different. So I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look and show you the ingredients and we're gonna hit the ground running. So first up, we need to get our rice going. So I have one cup of rice and two cups of water and I like to heat the water up first. I feel like it speeds the cooking along. If you want to salt the water, you can. I don't. Um, so I'm just going to get this going. But whether you cook your rice on top of the stove or in a rice cooker, it should be under 15 minutes to make it. And if you warm up the water first, it'll help. All right, I'm going to plug this in, get this going, and then over the stove we go. All right, now I made this recipe, similar recipe in 2019. That was a creamy mustard kind of a thing. Uh, this time, this is gonna be more of an Asian inspired. So I've got a block of extra firm tofu. You don't even need to press it. I like to use extra firm. I like to texture. I like the fact it has more protein, all of the above. So I'm gonna cut it in half. and then half again. And then this is gonna give us like four nice steaks, okay? Tofu steaks. Now I've got a pan heating, a nonstick pan, medium heat, and then we're gonna cook these about five minutes on each side, and then we're gonna make a super quick sauce. So the goal is to get it done before the rice is done or at the same time. All right, I'm gonna take you over to the stove and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna steam some broccoli. It's gonna be super easy and it's gonna all come together great. So we're just gonna set these in here. You wanna hear that nice sizzle because you wanna get a nice little sear on here. All right, I'm gonna cover these and then they're gonna go about four to five minutes on each side. And I'm gonna season them with a little salt and pepper. All right, I'm gonna steam about a pound here. It's not about a pound, it's a pound of frozen broccoli florets. They're gonna take about six or seven minutes. So we'll get those in. For our sauce, we're gonna use some coconut aminos, some maple syrup, some veggie broth, and then a couple of limes. So we need the juice and we need the zest of two limes. And it's always a good idea to roll your lemons or your limes. It kind of helps release the juice. And then my zester never works that great. So I'm gonna try this and see if I get any better action. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to zest these up while everything else is going. We're looking good. All right, we're going to flip these over. They've been going about four minutes. And you can see they got a nice little sear here. All right, 
We're gonna let these go for about three minutes on this side, and then I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna put them on the side for just like a minute. So we get a sear all the way around. All right, we've got a nice little sear on our tofu, so we're gonna take them out of the pan, and they're hot. Then we're gonna add in about a cup and a half of veggie broth, and it's gonna really splatter, so just be careful. Which is exactly what we want, because we wanna deglaze the pan. So that's all good flavor here. All those little bits. Okay, just add that in. We're gonna add half of our lime zest and half of our lime juice to the broth. Then we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of coconut aminos. You can use soy sauce, tamari, whatever you want. I like this, it's gluten-free and that's what I need. And about a tablespoon of maple syrup. Let's go maybe a tablespoon and a half. And then we're just gonna give that a good stir. It's coming up to a nice boil here. We'll turn the heat down and let it simmer for a minute. And then I want this a little thicker, so I'm just gonna add a little cornstarch, do a little slurry of a tablespoon of cornstarch and a little bit of water. So we'll add that in. Let that thicken up. That looks gorgeous. We're just gonna let that come up to a boil and get a little thicker. There we go. And then we're gonna add our tofu back in. And then I like to spoon the sauce over the tofu so it gets on all sides. Okay, and then we're just gonna let it simmer in there for just like a minute. And then we're gonna put the rest of the zest and the lime into the rice and we'll be ready to serve. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the lime to the rice. And the zest, of course. And then we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro. Optional if you don't like cilantro. And then just give it a nice little mix. And then you've got a nice lime cilantro rice. Real easy. You could even use frozen rice if you wanted to. Make it even easier for yourself. All right, let's give it a taste here. Get some of that sauce. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Don't mind me. It's the perfect ratio of lime to maple syrup. It's really good. And you'll have dinner in 20 minutes. How easy is that? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please share it and like it and all that good stuff. Subscribe to my channel. Just remember, keep everything simple and it helps you stay consistent and, you know, prioritize those things. Low calorie density, protein, sleep, exercise. Those four things are going to take you a long, long way. If you made it this far in the video, please comment below with prioritize. And that way I know you made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. As always, the full recipe will be below along with all the resources I offer, discount codes, and everything that I talked about earlier in the video. And remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. I've got a quick and easy dinner for you. I've got a quick and easy meal for you. It should be done in un... I have a quick and easy dinner... F oh my god.